Are uh, them done already? I don't know. It looks like they're about ready. I see it one nothing team off. No, it's zero, just zero. it's just starting right now, for me. Yeah. Huh? Here, copy, copy. Because I see the live update from. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, it's delayed. It's not live. It's delayed by like two rounds. Hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and get this match started. Team Op versus Team Melon matchmaking Monday. You're joined by me and Gaming Gaz for your co-host today. I'm going to go ahead and commentate this game. Looks like T side's going to going to go ahead and push up straight up cat. And CT's actually stacked A side. Oh. Burst Ice got already pulling out the R8. And Dots, he's just going to go ahead and get two taps. See if he can get a third. Nope, does not. Op's going to go ahead and do some cleanup work. There goes one, there goes two, and Team Op's going to go ahead and win the first round. Pistol round, very important to win in CSGO. That was fucking ridiculous, that R8. Right. Takes the shot, I mean, doesn't take, it's not a one shot, but man, he was down to about 20 HP. And then Dotsky with those head taps, just tap, tap, tap away. So we've got uh, Light Buy coming out from the CTs. He's got a Scout and Ump and a uh, MP9, it looks like. And it looks like T's are going to go ahead and hit the B site. They get smoked off a little bit. One guy's already in. And that's going to be the spell disaster so far. They're pushing in. Ooh, Melon gets a kill with the CZ. Oh, but they're all, they're getting a little bit stacked up. It's a 3v3 though. They're still looking pretty good. Ooh, and that's gonna be a nice trade there from Toxic and oh, oh and oh. Kraken and Dosky real fast get those last two kills in there. Yeah, I actually mean, didn't even see the one from Quack. For a retake like that, I mean, it would be Quack and Dosky that you would want to be doing that. Quack just completely annihilated him with that scout. It was that was such a disgusting shot. That guy had all the time in the row. Yeah. Oh, I think I think I have one of those too. <laughs> Did you take the 30 second delay off the stream? No, there's no 30 second delay. I lied. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna go ahead with uh, round number three. Looks like they're gonna start playing a little bit more standard now. Having one watching mid, two mid, two B, and two A. It's like T side's gonna go ahead for another B assault, but they're gonna go ahead and slow down in tons. Currently, an upper quack is watching. Oh, he's talking in game. Rip. We'll want to change that modification. And Dotsky is trying to hold that position. Throws a molly down in the lower ton. Forces them out, but doesn't matter. Barista goes down. Melon takes the kill with the UMP. Pixel's going to go ahead and spam the smoke. Yep. Dotsky just annihilates Melon. Probably trying to get up there, but he can't. He can't crouch jump. He can't figure out the crouch jump. Quack goes ahead and takes out Toxic with a headshot. Up, oh, finishes off. Prophet Virus. Toxic, Toasted, and Toxic are just, uh, their picks are just gonna go ahead and linger around, see if they can try to get a couple more picks, but it's not looking pretty bright for them. Satan G's is just waiting in sight from B. Oh, gets peeked out. Pixel can't get the kill. Goes for the Glock kill. Is he gonna get it? It does! Oh, he's, I'm not sure if he's gonna get the bomb plant down. Up here's some reloading. Goes for the plant. And takes him down. It's going to go ahead and put 3-0. Melon's going to probably freak out as of right now. <laughs> I mean, it's not they're not like... losing that much. These last two, I mean, they've been close rounds. They're just, they're getting a little bit too spread out, it seems like. There's not a way for certain points for them to trade. Like having a guy mid and then a guy in B, you want to be able to trade out those kills and try and be as efficient as possible. Yeah, definitely. So it looks like here we're going to see another B. We got one top mid, though. It looks like it's going to be Toxic as top mid. And he's just going to kind of play around, see if, what he can find out. He doesn't know that Endoski's right there on top. But he might get spotted here. Oh, he did. Endoski saw him, but, he, but there's going to be one person there mid with him. But they have the B site. So now it's going to be defending and this is going to be where I see where the retaking comes in and and both uh Ursals is there oh melon misses the op shot oh he gets caught out with the name but they're able to keep him alive oh he misses the op shot and that's going to take melon out of this one and there's just one left it's just going to be roasted Oh, and that's going to spell doom for him. Oh, no. Oh, no. What is he doing? He's just hanging in there. 
Oh. That was just... That was bad. Yeah. That was all bad. He, he, he needed... As soon as he saw that, he needed to run straight forward through it. Good night. Going to bed already? All right, so round four. We still see a little bit of buying out of the T's, but they are, well, they've got a full buy still. They've got an op and four AKs. Looks like they're gonna make more of an A hit this time. They've known, you know, that they've been playing a heavy B, so they're gonna try and see what they can do here. Uh, looks like CT's already kind of away for it. But they do get a pick. Uh, got, Boris gets picked in mid. So the T's do have the advantage. Oh, that nade right on Roasted, though. What did I just witness? <laughs> Wait, did Melon? Melon hit that shot on the side. Oh, wow. Oh, they don't check their corner! Oh, my gosh, they didn't check the corner. That's going to cost them. They need to grab a bomb and get across. It's going to be Toxic and Roasted here. Ops coming over Catwalk. Are they going to see it? Oh, is that going to reach in time? No. But it's 1v1, Op versus Roasted. Can he make it happen? I, I want to say Op is... CT. Yeah, he's going for it. I don't it. know, though. He's taking a lot of time on this. This is He's got to make him, this move a little bit faster. He does have a diffuser, Even though. If he gets... Oh! The jump gave him away. That the, was the only issue there. Yeah, totally gave him away. He did not recover and just totally got blasted. Yeah, Dotsky is going off. I agree, Shay. <clears throat> but yeah, finally, Melon's going to go ahead and get a round on the board. And Team Op is on a semi limited buy. Not too much utility, in my opinion. Oh, no, though. No. Um, three other players have sufficient utility. I think it should be enough. Uh, and dots getting up as long as they carry, they should be fine. Very toxic is kind of just the AFK right now, and and is uh, oh does get a gun. Okay, good. It's kind of worried for them. Looks like they already have somebody lingering lower mid. They're kind of just probing. It seems like Red Tox is just gonna go ahead, throw a frag out in the B site, kind of make some noise. CT's actually stacked heavily towards B. With them just playing close angles and Dotsky and Dotsky no he misses his opportunity and he somehow escapes that are you serious I don't know how he just got away with that and Dotsky should be dead but he manages to go ahead and push up on the cat uh, on the cat pushes back towards cat they're not ready for it and then Dotsky gets a triple kill with the UMP oh my god that was amazing they were not ready at all Virus looked the other way. He wasn't sure all of a sudden where he came from, and he just turned around and looked at the other direction. Oh, man. I think they heard Melon Scope. Oh, they did. Oh, and they don't have... He doesn't have control of the bomb. He only has 35 seconds. I don't know what he's going to be able to do here. He's going to have to... He's going to have to either save or he's going to, you know, go for it. But it looks like that's exactly what he's going to do. He's just got to wait to 20 seconds out. CTs are going to pull off another round. That's, and Dotsky just shut that whole round down with that triple kill. That was insane. <laughs> the problem that ended up happening is Virus didn't know what where that came from. He thought it ended up coming behind him, so he turns around from those shots. And that's why he ends up going down to all that. Really, if he stays looking forward, probably is able to probably get the kill at the end of that. All right, it's looking kind of rough for Melon, especially economy-wise. Uh, looks like they're gonna buy armor. Let's stick with just pistols. Um, and the one op they have, yeah. So yeah. they're gonna just kind of play light and hope that Melon can kind of get them into a site at this point. Another heavy stack for T. Okay, mid. cool. Quack does get roasted, but Pixel's gonna take him down in the revenge and get, get an M4 for his troubles. So that's probably gonna pull a little bit off of the, off of B. So, but, but T's are all here and they've just left bomb in the middle of, of the open. Wow. So, Opt has got two kills so far, and they're trying to play this as. 
close as can be. I have a feeling someone's gonna be coming up. Yeah, uh, looks like Forestals is gonna be going up through Catwalk, and then Satanic's gonna be coming through mid, through CT, and they have no clue he's there. So this is just gonna be bad. As soon as they come and peek across, they're oh, but he shoots too soon. I don't know why Satanic's taking those pre-shots. Now they just signaled that they're that they know he's there. And Melon's gonna try and do a little bit of a sneaky move. He's gonna try and wrap around on these guys and see what he can get. Oh, oh, and Melon's gonna take down Borussels. Oh, this now becomes a two-on-two, -two, but they're running out of time. Opt is still on site, and they've got Satanic mid still. Oh, oh, and they're both going to clean them up at the same time. It is not enough. Stand by, chat. Just modifying some stuff. Let's get auto director back on. Cool. All right, Melon's probably having a little bit of a pep talk right now. Ops currently leading 6-1 right this moment, but he does have Andotsky with him and Quack and... Obviously, those guys have been playing together for a good amount of time. <coughs> yeah. And they're playing against a bunch of people who don't play CS necessarily that often at all. The Pixel Profit Rated, I know those guys all play together. Bryce Ice God is usually in that group as well, but you know, obviously they got separated. <laughs> so um, you have a little bit of the more dominant Counter-Strike players on CT as of right now. And then you have, obviously, the more casual gamer. Oh, Andoski is about to go ahead. And Toxic doesn't even see it that he's right behind him. You can clearly hear the smoke. If you're paying attention to focus, definitely can hear that. Andoski is going to go ahead and take off Pickle's head. Quack going to go ahead and flick onto Virus. Doesn't get the second kill. Melon just completely annihilates him with the CZ. I know that's one of his favorite guns to use. But he's looking at a 1v4 situation. I would... It would be very impressive if he pulled something off here. Unfortunately, it's not going to be that way. Boris Ice God takes his time, puts a couple rounds in the melon's head, and Team Op is going to go ahead and lead it up 7-1. to one. So I'm in silver, and yeah, I started a new account, now I'm playing MGs and GM4s and winning. Dude, Pelosoft, nice, man. Good stuff. Let's see, we got a, looks like a buy, all AKs, no ops or anything on Melon's side. So, and it looks like we've got a pretty standard B play as normal. 2B for the CTs, 1 mid, 2A with Andoski playing that catwalk. Oh, Melon's going to see if he can get him. Oh, Melon goes for it early. Can't hit the shot on him. Does take a little bit of damage for his time, but, oh, he saw him there. He's going to try, oh, that molly comes right at him and he's going to back away from that. Ops gonna spray down, see if he can just get any tags on anyone. And they're gonna smoke out the entrance. Are they gonna try and push this? They're gonna get flashed. Everyone's flashed. There's a nade on Op. There's a nade that goes into the tunnel. Doesn't really do anything. But Op did take about 40 damage there. So he's taking a big chunk out. He's gonna try and sneak and see if he's... Oh, he's gonna go over to the fence and see about hiding there. But it looks like they might be thinking about backing out and trying to get over to A, potentially. Oh, but Andotsky's going to get uh, Toxic down there. So they know that there's still people over on the B side. Opt is still over by a fence. He's still waiting, but it looks like Bomb is going to go towards middle. Most melon. Oh, and he's got out with the nade, and Andotsky gets taken down. That's going to leave mid open, but he's going to chop him back. He's not watching window, and just like that, the round ends with four quick kills. Pillows off. What are we watching? This is Matchmaking Monday. This occurs every Monday. This event starts at 7 o'clock. Player selection starts at 7.25, and we try to get the game going about, you know, as soon as possible, as soon as, as, soon as the teams are selected. Um, it's powered via challengeme.gg. But, yeah, this is... Um, this is the viewer matchmaking that we do every Monday. Um, gives me, an, me and Gaz an opportunity to go and shoutcast. Um, obviously give back to the viewers. Uh, oh, wow. Looks like it's a complete uh, A stack over here. Cracks all by himself behind that car. Oh, gets his head taken off by Pixel. 
CTs have an or CTs have to go ahead and switch back over there. They're gonna go ahead and spam through the smoke. Rosatosa goes ahead, takes down Bryce Ice God. Can't get the second kill on Andoski. Andoski is all by himself against four T or T members. Pixel gets taken out with the frag. Melon and that CT is gonna just go crazy. Oh my god! And Dotsky is just a one man army on A, but it's a 1v1. Rated Toxic has all of his health left. And Dotsky with 6 HP. Let's see what happens. He's not gonna see it. And it's an easy kill for Andoski. Team Op is just completely dominating this game right now. Holy moly, DK, thank you for the massive host. Oh my god. No creep for you. What's going on, man? 211 viewers. My goodness DK's gracious. For Andotsky there. Ridiculous. So, Melon's team, it looks like they're slowly buying up. I see two SGs. I see two AKs. Toxic also gets an AK. So, three AKs, two SGs. Um, one looks to be going towards B. Um, which looks to be roasted. And he is just going to try and play decoy. Looks like they're out mid, and so they're gonna try and see what they can do out mid. They're gonna flash out mid and see if they can put catwalk. But oh, and Dotsky's already down. I didn't even see when they took down Andotsky. Oh, and Pixel with the shot on Ice God. Oof, that was dirty. So now it looks like they're gonna try and push Cat to see what they can, but they are pushing to where there's two players. But looks like Quiet Opt is all the way out long already and so he needs to come back to try and help his teammate out he's gonna get there just in time oh but just like that quack off they're taking everyone out there's another one for quack and they're the 5v3 turns into a 3v1 now but roasted's gonna get uh the guy who was on b and he's gonna rotate around but let's see what he can do oh oh he's gonna give away where he's at now Who roasted? He's gonna. He's trying to decide if he wants to try and do this on catwalk or if he wants to go a different direction. Oh, Ooh, and Quack just waiting on the shot takes him out. Yo, Spearfinger, no creep for you, Alien Hunter Four, GK Switch. What's going on, everybody? How y'all doing? Welcome to the Arrow Show. We're currently in a viewer match right now. Me and Gaming Guys are currently shoutcasting a match composed of viewers like yourself. These guys are all uh, in the stream and they are playing. An MVP who gets voted MVP uh, gets a prize. Get okay, a covert scan up for grabs. It's an AK-47 um, disarray. Oh wow, they're gonna go ahead and push out to be really quick. Opt is all by himself. Gets a head tap on Arisa Toasted. Mel's all by himself. Oh no. I'm not sure if he can do that. Op goes down finally. It is a 2v4. A lot of destroyed T side right now. And Dotsy's gonna go ahead and execute. Oh, barely gets a spray down on him. But let's remember it's Andoski and Quack. They clutched it before. They may do it again. Melon's gonna go ahead and deny it this time though. It's a 2v1, Quack all by himself. And gets taken down! Melon finally gets a second round on the board for his team. <laughs> that firefight in there felt like it took so damn long. They just unloaded every fucking clip they had. Yeah. And still, it seemed wasn't sure who was coming on ahead. So, but Melon's got the opt. He's gonna try and see if he can pick mid. They're gonna flash over. He sees one, sees two. And then the smoke is gonna come out and he's gonna take a shot, but sees nothing. They're gonna push out. Roasted's got off already. Ooh. And Roasted's gonna get Satanic as well. So that's gonna leave B open. Roasted low on health, but that's gonna give him an open sight. They need to get that bomb down and they need to play now. Um, positions, they're gonna get one coming from, uh, Quack looks like he's coming from behind, and Dossie's coming from mid, and Ice God is already in B tunnels. Gonna peek out. Oh, he doesn't expect Pixel to be in that corner and gets taken out. So it's just gonna be Andotsky and Quack now. Andotsky, he's playing. He's he's backing off. I don't think he might be trying to save at this point. I don't think he's looking to really engage here. And I think Quack off. Oh, nope. Quack's gonna take one out with the P90. He's gonna molly that off. Oh, but he's gonna get pushed by Pixel again. Pixel solo on health. They need to get out of there. They're still way too close to this bomb. I think they're going to lose two people here. No, only roasted. 
Profit. Oh, but Profit's gonna get picked by Endotsky. <laughs> of course, Endotsky always loves to go for those uh, little exit frags. Exit frags, especially if they uh, lose a round. But hey, that's a good thing for Melon. They're gonna go ahead get another round on the board. But you know, CT looking a little iffy on the money. But Optin Quacky are pretty skilled with those deagles. Uh, let's see here. Boris Ice got trying to go for the picks. Oh, gets the pick on the Melon with the God Gun. <laughs> got Melon triggered. Throwing some profanities out there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but Pixel got to go ahead and trade out his co-worker teammate guy. I can't say. I don't know. All I know is they're in the same clan. Apologize for my wording. The Tan Jesus only armed with the USP. He's going to go ahead and try to hold that B site with Opt. Opt has a Deagle as well. He's going to go ahead and spread some SK on the wall. <laughs> do you know Joiner Lucas? No, I do not. I do not know of Joiner. Is it? Oh, Rosa Tosa takes down Andotsky. That's not a really easy thing to do in this kind of rank. Is, uh, get the jump on Andotsky. Uh, oh, Pixel misses opportunity to get a kill on an Opt. Satanic Jesus just completely dominating everybody and doing a lot of damage with that USP, but unfortunately it's not enough. Mr. Quacky's all by himself armed with a Deagle. I don't want to jinx it, but I'm pretty sure... That Team Melon should have this round in the bag as long as everybody is covering corners. But it looks like they're all looking in the same direction at points. Like, Prophet's Virus is just looking between window and tons when they should only be looking in one certain direction. Oh, here goes Quack. And it's not going to happen. Sorry, Quack. Try again next time. So that is going to bring us to halftime here, folks. Round 15. Team Melon's starting to make a little bit of a comeback. They can get it within five. Let's see what happens. Um, got an SG for Melon. Nope, oh, that's an op. And he's going to give the SG to Profit. Um, so two, three AKs, an SG, and an op. Um, it's still not a great buy out of the CTs. They have a, a, a Scout, a P90, and three M4s. And again, Ts are going to look like they're going to make a move towards B, but they're also going to kind of play mid. Now, they, they're kind of getting a sense that this play from Endoski, but Endoski, Quack is already almost basically outside of T Long. If he were to push up behind them, he could catch them completely off guard. But Op's going to get picked by Melon. He peeks up at the wrong time and gets his head ripped off for that. And now Ice God's going to come over with the scout and try and take a look. And now this is where it looks like Quack's going to start making his move. He's going to try and see if he can catch anyone off guard coming up behind him. Oh, did he see him go up, Cat? Oh, he didn't, but he, he's being tricked. He's being trigger sensitive. He pulls the trigger now, gets one kill on the pixel. Oh, he turns the corner, doesn't see Toxic in time. Turns away, and that's going to cost him the round. And that's going to leave Bombsite B open. Now the question is, is this he going to expect Pixel to be here? He doesn't look, and Endoski's going to get taken down by Pixel. They're going to take the four, last four rounds of the half to come back 10-5. to five. Yeah, that was definitely a solid recovery. Um, they, <laughs> you can definitely see the frustration on Melon right now uh, in the chat. The vulgarity is definitely being spurted out, but either way, that's a good comeback. It's better to end the half on 10-5 versus, you know, 12-3, that's for sure. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and start off the second half. Oh, go ahead. And especially with a team like if you said, you're not they're not necessarily used to playing with each other. T's always much harder because it's more going to be based on playing and working as a team that way. CT, they might be able to get away with more independent play. And right now, Pixel is just destroying everyone. That's going to be three down so far. There's still one in there, and then Roasted's going to get quacked, which is just going to leave Ice God with the R8 in mid of all places and so they oh really oh caught him on the reload yeah. caught him on the reload <laughs> it's not <laughs> happening sorry where i got i warned you sir i warned you not to use that damn gun and you go ahead and use it but hey can't stop everyone from doing anything i guess oh ray talk is gonna go ahead and bust out her r8 of, of himself on ct side <laughs> Alrighty, looks like they're gonna go ahead for another B hit, but looks like CT's gonna go ahead and stack it this time. There's only one on A, and he's already pushed up. They know the attack's gonna come from B. But Pixel's ready for it! Oh no! Pixel! Pixel going for the ace! Pixel's gonna go for the ace! Oh, and he gets it! Oh my goodness! <laughs> that was insane! Let's go, Team Melon!
Oh my goodness. <laughs> they asked for Are it. Are you kidding me? Just starts just unloading with a FAMAS and gets an ace on it. God. That is crazy. Well, that didn't go as they had hoped, so... Looks like they're gonna make more of an A push this time. They got one push in and long. It's gonna get naded and that's gonna leave a mark on Quack. Quack's already down to 20. That's gonna back Quack off pretty quickly. But they're still staging around long. Ice God's gonna now come in here. They're still gonna keep an eye on this. They're not really playing too aggressive. There's no one far up on long. So if they do choose to take it, they're gonna get out, but it's gonna be whether or not they can play their way to sight from this but um they're not really making any moves they're really just kind of really playing the slow they may wait to try and get the timer low and try and rush onto a site and i'm starting to see because yeah there were three over on a now they're starting to rotate back towards b ice god is starting to um or not ice god uh pixels going over to b just to make sure to they have equal numbers on all sides even though they don't realize they had it on the right side. Oh. Oh. And Toxic is going to get uh, one along with Roasted, but Endoski drops one too. So now they know it. everyone is out long. So they need this is where they catch up. Oh. And they catch. They see him. Endoski's going to get taken out trying to cross. And now they're going for the kill. Ooh. Woo! Ice God gets the kill, but quick succession kills from Roasted and Melon. Yeah. That was uh, definitely a play I'm pretty sure Op constructed. <laughs> To have him try to distract him, yank him off B, which almost worked. But here's the real test for Team Mello now. T-Side's going to go ahead and buy up, have weapons and some utility to work with this time. So we're going to go ahead and see how this pans out for T and see if Melon and Co. can go ahead and hold on. Oh, looks like it's going to be a cat push. Red Toxic goes ahead and holds that corner down, takes Bryce, Ice God down. And Dosky challenging Virus, but Virus goes down. Good trades, good trades. Oh, this can definitely turn around. They have complete mid control right this moment. So they can go B or A if they wanted to. Oh, catches him with the grenade out. Good job, Pixel. Wow, what a kill. Looks like Op did some damage over there on an A. But there's absolutely no one on B right now. Bomb is in upper tunnels. Satanic Jesus with possession. Op at 13%. Let's see if Pixel can take him down. Does takes him down. He hears another one. Gets the second kill. Pixel up to three kills this round. And it's Mr. Quacky all by himself with his nice big blue knife. Oh. Oh, it's 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 not looking good for Quack. It's not looking good for him at all. Melon thinks he's on cat. And then he had Pixel and Rated Toxic. Chilling on B site. Oh man, what's Quack gonna do? He's gonna linger at 18 seconds right now. I think he's just gonna play for Exit Frags, but if he's, you know, let's see here. Quack is at $450. He's not gonna get any money if he doesn't die. Yeah, CTs are just gonna go ahead and play it safe. Watch the bomb. And not go looking for trouble. <laughs> that was pretty nuts. This this has been a this has been a crazy since about the that end of the half. We've had a nine game nine round swing now. I mean it's now right here. Between Ndotsky and Pixel, I mean Pixel's now out out killing and Dotsky. Pixels got 25 and Dotsky at 23. So I mean they are both trying to carry their teams to victory. And the T's do not have a buy. Quack has the AK. Satanic has an ump and that is it. Everyone else with P250s and nothing else. And they're gonna got a couple guys out long, two on cat. There's no one on A site though. Everyone is either long or off site. And they are this is gonna spell danger. Toxic's gonna go down, but they have no one on A site. This they can easily just walk on the site and try and and he yeah, there's no one to cover Melon there. 
And so now, and the quack is just gonna start taking people out. Ice guy, Ice Scott's gonna go down. But they need to get quack down. But there we go. CT makes the comeback. Gets wow. Pulled back together. That was. I mean, they literally just left A alone. Left A for its T's to just walk straight in. Yeah, that was insane. Um, I, if I were them, I would probably call a timeout. Because they need one. They need to kind of rethink the game plan. Looks like they're going to go ahead and just push right through B. Flashes, flashes like crazy, but they're not pulling out. They're probably going to go ahead and linger. Oh, no. And Dossie, or Ops going right out. Ops going right out. Doesn't work, though. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Rosa Tosa just annihilates pretty much the whole team. And it's all up to Barres Ice God. All by himself. He's about to get killed by his teammate. Oh, wow! It survives that. Oh my goodness. Gets a free M4 out of it. Still has all of his armor. Most of it, at least. 34. Rosatos is not falling for it. He's already there. Oh, I'm surprised you didn't see the gun barrel. But that's going to go ahead. Melon is, Team Melon's going ahead and making a comeback right now. The toggles are on. <laughs> so, well, no, the problem with that, so what happens when they do that smoke, whoever that was the first that came out corner, I think it was Endotsky, he jumps but doesn't get far enough out. And so he makes himself a target, and Roasted just shoots at that corner until he kills three people. Ice God's going to take down Melon off the bat, though, in the mid fight. He's going to take him down with the op. So that's going to be a nice pickup there. That's going to leave a lot of room whichever way that they decide and it looks like T's are going to take full advantage they're going straight to A there's only one person on A and Toxic has got to make hits and he can't but he does get quacked but Satanic's going to take him down that's going to be a 2v4 and Pixel just cannot get this there he goes he finally gets the one T down yeah that was total head glitch right there I don't, I'm not sure Pixel or Endoski realized his head can still be seen Ops on site still. Ice God long, and then Satanics and Goose. Oh, he gets spotted. He gets hit for 40, 30, 60 or so. And so far, oh, but more Ice God's gonna take him down. Ops still. Ooh, Satanics gonna get taken down there. Comes out a little bit too far, but then Ops gonna get Pixel, and that's gonna bring it back in the favor of the T side. Their issue here now, they've got to make sure they carry this over. And they still don't have that great of money for this round. Because if they buy into this and lose this, they're getting reset hard. Yeah. CT needs to be very careful. CT has plenty of money, but yeah, definitely uh, agree. T side definitely needs to go ahead and win this round. If they don't, then they're probably they're definitely going to be in trouble. Looks like there's a little bit of a buy issue uh, back in T spawn, giving them a little bit of a late start. But CTs are going ahead just playing. Slow anyways, nice and passive. Ooh, they're gonna go ahead and just slowly creep up. Ooh, let's see if, is Pixel gonna go ahead and just creep on him? Oh man, Pixel has such a good position right now. If he takes out Jesus, he takes him out. That's gonna go ahead and draw Quack over to mid. Try to cover it, Bomb is over there. And Dotsky, with the op, try to hold a nice angle and see if anyone gets aggressive. Oh, my Quack saves and Donsky's life. But Virus is there, trying to get a pick of himself. Oh, no. Barely clips Melon. Melon should have had that one. Rosatos is going to go ahead and take out Quacky. And Donsky's just going to go ahead and have to pretty much play for frags right now. and <laughs> Hit the soccer ball. With a knife and the soccer ball doesn't pop, I don't understand why that. Why that just that doesn't work, you know. It's been so long since I played CS. I want to play it, but I might be so shit. Hey man, you know it's just you know something you just gotta have back on into. It's just like random bike. You just gotta figure out your settings again. Get a feel for your mouse. Looks like CT is gonna go hunting with 20 seconds left. Dotsy is gonna go ahead and hold B from window and try to get a nice little spot and see if he can get a pick. But he has to be careful and make sure he doesn't die after the timer ends. So yeah, man, this sucked. This comeback, though, between Melon and Opt, that was insane. Just completely destroyed them for most of the round, for most of the map, and all of a sudden just came back with that equalizer two rounds ago. 
Yeah, they that that was that was harsh because it it looked like they were setting up good and then they didn't expect the hit un you know from underpass from B and it just got derailed really fast. So that's uh, T's darn too bad. They still get a decent buy out of it, but um, it's still gonna be one person on pistol satanic with two AKs and ump and the op on ice god. Roasted is playing over off of the B site by boxes. Let's see what they can get going. Profits over here in mid trying to keep an eye on things. T's look like they're stacked up towards B, so they're gonna kind of keep an eye on things see what they can see here but they're playing still standard 2-2-1 two, two, with mid and it looks like C's are hitting hitting out right now and oh they are blind they're getting pushed out oh, oh satanic is super low but boy, ice god's gonna hit it shot through the smoke and op's gonna get a kill too and they're gonna get the sight off of that what a crazy shot and that's gonna leave two left uh, Satanic is super low though. If the, he doesn't need much to get taken down here, and Quack's gonna get taken out by Melon. Oh, and I, they're uh, they, Toxic is yeah. sneaking around backside of B. They're yeah, they should not push this. I hope they don't. No, four v two. They should definitely should not. And especially the angle Ice God's holding. If he tries anything, he's gonna pick that guy who crosses over into tunnels. Right. This is the much smarter play. Nice try. Gets a kill for it, and they'll probably kill Satanic in the process. Yep. Because, I mean, they still take out two even in the loss. That's still a lot of money. Economy still has not been able to get up for them. Um, but that hurts the CTs. They're still good on money. I mean, Roasted has had 13k before that, so they're still fine off here. Yeah. So, for the two people that are currently joining us, Unseen and Potato, what are you guys' thoughts so far on the game? Yeah, definitely in a game like this, um, you know, everybody's kind of quite balanced out in terms of skill. Uh, that's why we try to uh, divide the ranks up a bit based on matchmaking skill. Obviously, for some players, that doesn't really matter. Uh... Oh my goodness, Opt. Pixel had all the chance in the world to push that smoke and catch Opt while he was mid-spray, but did not take advantage of that. Prophet was there too for it. He comes out as he's looking the other way and can't hit the shot. That was pretty bad. Yeah, that was that, that was rough. It, it hurt early. Opt pulls straight out of the corridor from T Long and just rips Melon's face off with the Opt. So this is this is gonna be the last goodbye that CTs have if they don't win here. They need to convert this round, otherwise they're gonna be in sh really bad condition for the next couple rounds, and it's already gonna be round 14. And if they can't get a win here, that could spell danger close to 15 and losing. So yeah. let's see what we've got here. A lot of building up towards mid and B, but we've got three for CTs there. They're trying to keep an eye on it. Rose is just gonna take some pop shots towards it just to let him let people know he's there. Melon's still watching over by um, A Long over by the parking garage. You see what Pixel's doing? It's kinda odd. I'm not sure why they would uh, fully give up the site like that. Well, if you make if if you try and make them believe that, you know. I guess you might be trying to do if you're trying to lead them into a false like oh they think we're a and then as soon as they go to cross you're trying you know trying to grab more of the crossing pick and rather would play the retake i could see that but i would much especially since they haven't made a move yet i don't know why you would evacuate site this early oh and ice god's gonna get a kill oh they try and throw a bomb up but it's kind of stuck on the catwalk they do get it and Pixel, he's pretty lit. They're gonna try and make an A push here. Oh my goodness. Oh, Ice God gets shot. Satanic's getting lit up. Oh, there's one. Oh, but right there, they start converting those shots. They're, there's two really low, but they start converting the shots. Profit's mid, but that's not gonna help. That's gonna be bomb A, and he's gonna be all by himself. Does he try and save this and make sure he has money, which is what it seems like he's doing at this point. But are 
they gonna try and I think they're just gonna let him keep his gun hope you know try and keep it all three alive here at the end because two of them are very low if they go hunting could easily be dropped two weapons and one of them would be an op so and they're gonna go hide in the parking garage area by a long and that's gonna put them on 14 and this is gonna make it really tough on CT now because they do not have a lot of money. No, they're yeah. gonna, they have one person who can buy an M4, two people, but other than that, you have very, this is gonna be a very light buy, and they're gonna try and buy around it. They're buying umps and utility. I don't know how much I like this. Yeah, they do manage to get a handful of rifles out, um, so that's not too bad. Uh, Wow, I completely missed that one. He had all the opportunity to roll to land that spray, but did not. They're going to go ahead and pretty much reinforce upper mid, but I don't think this is the, I don't think this is the right decision. Pixel goes down to 3% with that frag. My goodness. A lot of damage done to both teams already. Opt down to 13. Roasted toasted. If he decides to push this, oh man. Oh, goodness. It's just kind of starting to fall apart right now for CT or for T side. Oh, they're going to go and boost, push on the cat. That's going. That's been their most successful strat so far. Oh, Pixel's about to die, and he goes down the fire. His head's right there. Opt gets kill. Good trade. Quack's going to go ahead and do some cleanup duty. And they know where the last person is. That's that puts off on match point against Team Melon down three to twelve rounds. They need the round of their lifetime. They need three and it's rounds. It's gonna be a very janky buy. I mean, yeah, you're probably gonna see a lot of umps, a lot of other stuff um, with utility going in. Um, Melon doesn't. Bother I am the it. worst. Jesus Christ, are you serious? But so here we go. Round this could be final round. Looks like it's still. Well, it looks like they got th more, but uh, more like three towards B. But C's are all stacked by A, and they're gonna push tunnels, which Opt is gonna take a lot of damage, but he's gonna get out of there. And it's gonna be advantage T side still. Can they get Opt though? Oh, and there goes Opt. But Satanic grabs another two v three. Bombs going catwalk again. The same thing. The play they keep doing all the whole game. Oh, Melon, he can't get get the kill, and that's just gonna leave it in the hands of Toxic. He sees him, tags him a little bit, gets the kill finally, but he still got two more to find and get this taken care of. And he doesn't. He's slowly ticking down on time. Oh, he gets the hits on him. But he can't get it. Oh, and he gets hit by the molly in midair, and that's gonna. It stops his jump completely dead in his tracks. That is going to be a GG, ladies and germs, with Team Opt saving the game. Oh my goodness, dude. That was. That... Almost blowing a nine round lead. They uh, almost Team Liquid that shit right now. They there. almost. Te Shut up. They almost. Te <laughs> <laughs> they did almost Team Liquid it, though. That is, uh, that is very true. Oh man, that would, that could have definitely been rough. Oh yeah, that was a big oof. Yeah, it was a big oof. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and get the straw poll created really quick because I completely forgot to do that. Stand by. <laughs> uh, I'm Monday. What is the date? The eighth. Uh, yep. Yes, yeah, today would be the eighth. Glorious. Ice God, Quack, Jesus, <laughs> Pixel, Jared. What the? Actually, would Jared go by Roasted Toasted? Prophet, Toxic, and uh, Melon. Okay, and uh, identification, proof, spam protection, Crit pull, and chat. Here you go. The bowl is available. And we'll announce the winner at 8.40. Give me a C. Who you think 
was the MVP of the game. Now, honestly, this honestly this is a very, very close game. Oh, these clips? Oh my god. <laughs> like, the clips I took are ridiculous. I mean, stat wise, they're very close. If you look at, you know, um, Team Melon, you had both Pixel <laughs> Melon and even Toxic started pulling up there on Team yeah. Opt. But I mean, literally, Optin and Dotsky are basically shot for shot the same. 25, 4, and 17 to 25, 5, and 18. So, I mean, they're literally almost identical stats. The, yeah, Melon. And Quack isn't far behind at 22, 2, and 18. So, I mean, played a really good round. Um, it was a, it was, that was a very good match all around. Yeah, definitely. Um, dude, yeah, I, I definitely agree on both ends. I mean, Pixel Melon, obviously, you know, obviously the higher tiered players on the team as well as Endotsky Dop. Quack, obviously, mm -hmm. you know, bringing up that extra oomph and Boreas Ice God is definitely uh, playing a little bit of higher t uh, caliber than you you definitely would if you played with him before. But, um, right. but yeah, no, definitely the uh, game itself. This was probably one of the best matches so far on Matchmaking Monday. Um, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, team captains of the winner in. We're gonna go ahead and give them a little interview. Yo, Opt, how you doing, man? I'm great. How are you? <laughs> I'm great. Oh, uh, dude, I'm doing well myself, man. How did you feel the match went? Um, uh, my team did really good. I feel like I did really bad. <laughs> you felt like you did really so bad. I missed so many. I missed so many easy opportunities. That could have helped us make secure the win a lot easier but definitely something yeah. i could agree on uh, there's definitely a couple uh, instances that uh you know we we just watch and we're just like obviously we can see you know through the smoke on our end because we're spectating but um you know even we can see them peeking their foot out or something like that or the head like peeking out in smoke i mean we're playing we're, we're viewing at 16 by 9 but uh i'm pretty sure you should have seen a couple of the opportunities yeah, <laughs> you probably I messed up a couple shots definitely could have probably been dropping a 30 bomb that's for sure yeah that's what i said i'm like <laughs> i could have got dropped a 30 bomb, but i messed up so many times yeah so uh yeah tell us what happened there um you guys were up uh like 10 rounds and all of a sudden you guys just started dropping the ball and then that continued into the second half you guys almost like In lost T everything on T, we were thinking, okay, Melon's going to op. Let's not go for him. And we saw him throw out a scout, I think it was second round that we lost. Where we lost our force by. So I'm like, okay, he has an op. Let's not go A. So we tried going B a couple times, and that didn't really work at all. And Jared just wrecked us. And whoever else was there, I can't remember. <laughs> um, and then we started playing it a bit slower. And seeing that we were able, actually able to kill Melon, we were like too scared of him. And we actually started pushing him a bit. And we started winning some rounds that way. And yeah, that kind of get us, got us going again. So going back to that that kind of streak there, what ha what did they do rounds eleven to fifteen on their uh, T side? Like you guys were up ten one, and all of a sudden they start stringing these rounds. What was it about what they were doing that was throwing you guys off on those last four rounds of the first half? They weren't just rushing anymore. They were playing a lot more spread out. Like I think they came B five times out of those times, and me and Satanic held that down. And also my team got good retakes. And after they started faking more and they started getting picks and waiting instead of just rushing out. Okay. Yeah, Liquid or uh, or Potato or Unseen, you have any questions? Uh, don't troll, by the way, Unseen, or I'm going to freaking <laughs> ban the hell out of you. <laughs> but Potato or Unseen, is there any uh, questions you have for Op in terms of how they uh, pulled off that win? Nothing really. <laughs> Nothing really. Anything oh, you guys wanted to notate that they did that was awesome in your eyes? Uh, the point out Ignoski's part over by um I forgot mid. Yeah, when he smoked out and got the three kills. Oh yeah, the triple kill that was his, insane. His, yes, his cat triple. play was dirty that whole first half. They started I think that was part of, I think the thing that kind of started rolling on you guys too is. They started to realize Andotsky was there every time, and so they were waiting for him on some of those occasions. I think we actually had that clipped. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's clipped somewhere. That I one with the three, because he, yeah, he smokes off so people can't see him from top mid, and he gets three right below him, and no one looks up to even shoot at him. Yep. Nuts. Uh, so you clipped the triple kill? 
Yes, I did. All right, let's go ahead and take a look Should at that. Should the first one, the top one. And it was the them just playing close oh, angles. And Dotsky. And Dotsky. No, he misses his opportunity, and he somehow escapes it. I don't think Are you serious? Bad. But, I don't know how he just got away with that. that was kind of unseen's job. And Dotsky should be dead. So. Yeah, thanks. But he manages to go ahead and push up on the cat. Ah. There's one you guys. Oh, this is like, it right here. Nice. Pushes back towards cat. He's not, not ready for it. And then Dotsky gets a triple kill with the UMP. Oh my god, that was amazing. That was a nutty oh triple kill. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't even watching it. I was still alive. <laughs> Oh, here I was watching. I still I knew Melon was. Oh, on odd, off the stream sniping. Kappa. What? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding, dude. Don't joke with you. Made him now. Banned, Kappa. <laughs> but now the um, but yeah, that was uh, definitely one of the cool um, opportunities we saw. We're gonna go ahead and bring in. Um... Where's Pixel? We're gonna go ahead and bring so in a melon if he's here. Okay. Well, yeah, Op, thank you for interviewing me. Yeah, we will catch you next Monday for sure. Well, you'll probably catch me after somewhere. after this game. Or after you. Yeah. Probably. Right. If Melon can report to the Discord, that'd be fantastic. Why? I mean, Pixel City kind of left in a rampage. There he is. Hey, Melon, what's up, man? How you doing? Oh, boy. Uh, I'm doing okay. Doing okay? Yeah, you seemed like you're uh, raging in there a few rounds well, in. Well, I mean. Honestly, like, like I was explaining to my team, I hadn't played CS in almost two weeks, but so I wasn't really expecting much of myself, but I was still like going, trying to push for it. But uh, overall, I mean, I'm we we started to come back. We had those couple rounds where we just kind of lost it on the on the T side in the very beginning, and they were taking an early lead, and you know, we were just getting really not like angry. We just kind of just stopped talking for a while, and then we just like were being calm and took it more slow, and just were. Uh, communicating better, I think that helped us string those last couple rounds together, and that built built up some confidence going into the second half. Um, definitely, um, there definitely were a couple rounds I think we could have won, like that one where I was going up ramp with a CZ and got the kill on whoever that was, and then like Whip got Andoski for like 75. But um, and then that really unlucky round with the UMP, like pop, cr uh, what's the word? Props to Andoski for that play. That was pretty sick, but. Uh, overall, I mean, I, it was a very good game. Like, I mean, as soon as I saw, I, as soon as I heard uh, Opt pick and Dossi, I was like, yeah, this game is over. <laughs> 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 but, I mean, yeah, overall, I mean, for me not playing in two weeks, I was actually kind of surprised. But, I mean, we all kind of just played together kind of well, and it was fun. That's good. Yeah, the uh, after, you know, you guys were down, like, what, 10-2, and then you guys just... 10-1. 10-1. 10-1. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then yeah we, just... we, we think we won the first gun round, I think, and then that, that was it for a while, mm -hmm. and then we got those last four rounds, and that built a lot of confidence. I think we won, I think we got it to 10-10, I think, in the first half, and then it was, like, 11-11, yep. and then really close, and then they kind of just kind of figured us out, I guess, but... Yeah, they definitely, uh, they called that timeout. I think that's when everything started changing, because I think they... Wait, they didn't even call a timeout. There was no they... pause. Did... Oh, because... No, there was no pause. That's weird, we, really? We thought they... We, we talked about that they should... <laughs> I was, like, typing a chat. Did. I think he kept, the thing. <laughs> he kept typing pause in chat, too. Yeah, yeah, because he was trying to get a timeout to try to figure out how to, like, you know, counter, because you guys were just, like, rolling over them consistently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was nuts, and like when you guys, as soon as you guys hit ten ten, I was just like, "Oh my god, dude, this is like the best game yeah. we've had." In a while. There, I, I think we would have maybe pulled it back a little bit closer if there weren't those couple like lucky multi kill rounds by them, because that that really helped them out a lot. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. when I, you know, when when Indowski had that UMP three K, like I was just like, I don't know what I what it, what to do. <laughs> so I was just kind of like hanging around, and you know, it was kind of annoying. But yeah, overall, it was a great game. So I can't wait till the next. one. Apparently, Andoski was asleep on his desk when the teams were being picked. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that makes sense why his uh, mic and has so repeated, so. <laughs> yeah, well, and, like, as you guys were doing good up, at, you know, all the way through, and the thing they seemed to exploit there at the end was, you know, regardless of how the round was going, where they were pushing, it always seemed to revolve back around to them then going up cat and getting to A. Yeah. And they, they basically, regardless of... How many guys you had on A? It just seemed like they could kind of brute force their way through Cat onto the A site against you guys. Yeah, especially, you know, definitely too. Like that round when I think it was one of the last ones when I just they someone dropped me in a log and I was sitting on Goose, 
and like mm -hmm. we 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 should have had at least one or two more kills. We would have uh, we would have run the, won that round, but um, uh, I wasn't expecting him to it's four, uh, to four, check it's... it right away, and he did for a split second. So I kind of like moved out a little bit because I knew he was going to peek back at me. But uh, right. So yeah, that that round I think could have definitely ch turned the tides a little bit, at least made it a little bit closer. But yeah, there's just a few unlucky rounds on our part, but. Other than that, it was a, still a very good game to play. So yeah, I, mean, I, I, I kind of just I kind of just went with the du the dust two pick for the lulls because I hadn't played in like two weeks. But <laughs> I, like it, like in the very beginning too, I was like we were down like seven to one. I was like maybe this wasn't the best choice. <laughs> well, I mean, but I mean at the same time, it's not a bad choice. I mean, even well, yeah. though yes, it has been changed, everyone right. is still going to know the major parts of it. Whether you know there's a certain different things with the overhang back on T long but mm -hmm. you're still going to know the still general layout of yeah. the map. So. Yeah, it was, it was kind of good because I, I was going to go with Mirage because I mean personally that's like my favorite and best map and Jared was like, no, I don't, he's, he's not, he, he doesn't feel comfortable. It's like, okay, what, mm -hmm. what are our options? And I was like, you know, what about Dust 2? And then, uh, you know, Prophets, he said he's only played this like five times. He said, oh yeah, he, <laughs> he, he, he knows that map. So I was like, okay, we'll just go yeah. with it. But yeah, I mean, for for like not, this not happening for a month, it was it was a good game to come back to, so Mm -hmm. No, definitely. Yeah. yeah, this is, um, in my opinion, the closest match I think we've had so far. A matchmaking. Yeah. Besides, besides the last the one. Yeah. Yeah. And and, and and besides the rematch. In regards, <laughs> yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. When I destroyed okay, you. that, was a terrible veto on my part. I don't know why I left cobblestone. On it. <laughs> and then, uh, but yeah, in regards to uh, yeah, in regards to this game, this is. Uh, I think we're gonna probably end up sticking with the uh, captains and then figuring out everyone's matchmaking rank prior to actually doing selection because okay. I think that makes it a lot more even. It's not one base because the last couple right. matchmaking Mondays were very one-sided. That is 100% yeah, definitely. fact. But anyways, so. hey, thank you for joining us. We're going to be looking forward to seeing you next week, Melon. Yeah, it's also and it's also kind of weird too because like for the last one, I, I went back and watched like the cast like I would a normal game. It's just kind of funny to like have myself being casted. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you guys are like actually kind of a good, uh, pretty good duo there, so keep it up. Well, thanks a lot, Aww. man. Now I feel all good. <laughs> and then uh, depending, so yeah, depending on uh, who we go with, it's probably, I mean, I'm going to be playing a game with viewer game next. I'm not sure if Gaz wants to join, okay. if he wants to shout cast it. I'm going to remember to get the IP out to get this stuff. <laughs> and if, if whoever doesn't get picked, obviously, to play, then they can, you know, select well, the... as long uh, as I get the link so I can get the spectator. Yeah, you should yeah. definitely yeah. cast because oh. I, I, I will have to get off, so I'll just, I'll just watch your beautiful voice cast this game. So. Yeah, Gaz, I'm not sure. I, I forgot to message you, but I forgot to tell you, um, in your... Because you don't have any recent videos on your stream... On, no, it doesn't do vods. Yes, because you can. You have to turn on pa uh, uh, save past broadcasts. On your yeah, I know. No, I uh, know it's there. I just okay. don't have it set up. Gotcha. All right. And well, if you guys, if you're, if you're in the stream and if you haven't uh, followed, make sure you follow twitch.tv slash arrow. He's a very cool dude. And uh, we have yes. these games every Monday, at least now, at 7 p.m. So if you want a chance to play with us cool kids, then, you know, join the Discord and have some fun because we like company. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Brought to you by Zowie. Exactly. And DX Racer. <laughs> oh god. Use code arrow at dxracer.com. Don't fucking do that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're gonna we're gonna go and kick Melon out, but thanks for uh, right, thanks for guys. Alright, ladies and germs, now this guy did some crazy plays despite being on the losing team. He just completely held B side on C T, did a lot of crazy plays while he was on the T side. And he is the MVP for today's Matchmaking Monday. And th that person's name goes by the name of Pixel. Pixel, congratulations. You are the MVP of Matchmaking Monday, January 8, 2018. We're going to go ahead and drag you in. Hey, Pixel. Pixel, Pixel, Pixel. Hey. What's going on, man? Congratulations. You are the MVP of Matchmaking Monday. Awesome, awesome. Thank you. What the heck? I am not going to click on that link, Suzu. But, dude, <laughs> you had some crazy plays. Despite being on the losing team, you had some nutty plays that were definitely highlight-worthy. Apparently, at least to Unseen Sonic Size, because we're going to go ahead and play one for, for everybody. But this is, uh, I think, I want to say this is, is this the Andotsky Ace? That's the Andotsky Ace as well as the host. No, there's, a, there's this one play on here. That we want to play here. There it is. But 
Here it goes. <laughs> All righty. Looks like they're going to go ahead for another B hit. But looks like CT's going to go ahead and stack it this time. There's only one on A. And he's already pushed up. They know the attack's going to come from B. But Pixel's ready for it. Oh, no. Pixel. Pixel going for the ace. Pixel's going to go for the ace. Oh, and he gets it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That was insane. That was such a sick ace, and I think that also kind of just broke, you know, T side's back when you did that. <laughs> yeah, it definitely uh, killed their momentum, that's for sure. Killed their momentum already. You, you guys already kind of killed their momentum when you guys caught up. What you guys were ten? It was ten one. You guys won that round. Then from there, it was just you guys just kept playing and just kicking their ass up until you guys you know got the equalizer ten ten. And then that from there, that's when it started getting a little crazy. Until you get until you know you guys got that twelfth round and then they kind of just pulled off. They figured out what was yeah, going on. Yeah, they definitely learned that uh, our weak point was uh, cat, and they you know every time they tried to go B or anywhere else, they knew cat was pretty much open. But I mean, um, my boy Matt was covering that Profit Virus. He's uh, played the game. He's had actually got a uh, two comp matches under his belt, <laughs> and then he had his cooldown. So he hasn't even really fully experienced everything yet. I think he's doing pretty good. I'm happy to have him on my team. Um, I'm pretty depressed that you guys got josh on the other team but that's okay that's okay <laughs> i was wondering if you guys were gonna somehow all end up on the same team even though i split up the captains i'm just like what is gonna pick? but i know yeah uh... i knew since the ranks were pretty like you know broad and varied mm -hmm. um that at least one of us was gonna end up on the other team oh yeah for sure no but um other than that i mean like and in, in what 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 would you guys do you know during that um during that 10-1 after there, like what kind of just gave you that momentum? Um, I, I, I don't know. I can't speak for everyone else, but I know myself, I started to get down because probably about the fifth round, uh, we had a little bit of toxicity, somebody getting pretty angry. Um, I, I really couldn't hear for the beginning of the game because there was a gentleman who just all you heard was his red keycaps clacking and it, it left his mic wide open because of those key clacks. So I, I, I literally just, it's sad to say, but I had to mute him in Discord, and I did inform him in chat that if he needed to get a hold of me to use in-game chat. But um, after that, I think, I, I don't know if anybody else muted him or not, but I think there was a lot of it, and we really picked up our comms. We weren't really making good calls in the beginning, but um, we really stepped up our game with that. Awesome. Well, uh, let's go ahead and I think I'm, I'm sure you saw a picture of it already. Uh, but let's see here if I can get an image of it on, on the stream for you guys. But uh, for those who join in on Matchmaking Monday, like I stated before the game started, you guys have an opportunity. One person definitely gets the opportunity to win a skin for CSGO. And let's see, I think I have the picture right here. Oh, cool. Uh, the picture or the <laughs> the picture the prize for today's match is the AK-47 point dis uh, disarray. It's field tested. It's an AK-47 skin and it is yours, Pixel. So I oh, believe. Thank you very much. Yeah, of course you earned it, man. Um, but uh, yeah, do you have any last words, Pixel? Any shout out? <laughs> to anything? Um, not really a shout out, but um, <laughs> instead of uh, you know me being a middleman, um, I would honestly like to just give that to my buddy Matt Profits Virus. Profits virus? Yeah, not a problem. That yeah. can definitely be done. You've earned it. You can do whatever you want with it. Um, it's tradable. I uh, don't think I have profit on here, but for the <laughs> proud new AK owner, wow. Um, but just for uh, to make it simple, I'm just going to go ahead and trade it to you, and you can go ahead and get to it. Yeah, I don't believe there is a cooldown on this item. Okay. So, But, no, congratulations, man. Um, we will hope to see you and as well as the rest of the uh, L2F guys next week to see you guys back in action. Oh, for sure. We'll be here. All right, GG, man. All right, ladies and germs, we're going to go ahead and get another viewer match underway. I believe uh, Gaming Guys is going to be streaming this on his so if you want to hear commentary still obviously feel free to go ahead and go to head over that uh commentary i'm gonna go with commentary at that means i have to go to his channel and click yeah no hang on <laughs> <laughs> shut up <laughs> <laughs> all right 